This video shows gameplay of the Darkness 2 demo, which can be really heavy on the gore effects, so it may not be suitable for anyone under the age of 18. Although you will only see the censored footage from the German version of the game, it still has some violent moments in it, so keep that in mind. Alright, welcome to this video. I wanted to make something like this since I've played the demo of Darkness 2 and I found a few flaws in it and hopefully a developer of Darkness 2 sees this and maybe can fix it. As I found out that the Darkness 2 would be released on the PC, I was really happy. I was never able to play the first one because I have never owned the console and never will. And so far I really enjoyed what I've seen and played from the demo. The feeling it provides through the cool looking and fluid combat system and the overall satiating look and paint like textures definitely give the game its own original look and a really great atmosphere. But here's the downside. For the last years more and more games that were released on the PC were mediocre or simply bad console ports, not even one thought put into how they would work on the PC. I feel the same for Darkness 2, because it has a few flaws that should be fixed as soon as possible. And that is why I made this video. I wanted to make the developers aware of these problems so that they might get fixed as soon as possible. Let's start with the HUD. It is stretched when the video is not running a 16x9 resolution. For example, I am running a 16x10 resolution, 1680x1050. When I am playing on a full screen resolution, the HUD is pressed together. The health circle turns into an oval. It looks fine at 16x9, which is the normal aspect ratio in most TVs and therefore on most consoles. But on the PC, many are using other ratios, such as 16x10, 4x3 and even 5x4. And the smaller the resolution gets horizontally, the more the HUD gets pressed together as seen in these pictures. The next problem is the resolution of the game. When you switch resolutions while playing, the shown picture stays exactly the same, totally distorting the picture as seen here. This is true for the menus as well as in-game. This however again only affects when you change the aspect ratio, for example going from a 16x9 aspect ratio to a 4x3 aspect ratio. I should note that for whatever reason this does not work at all times. I tried recreating the glitch, or whatever you want to call it, at different points through the demo and at some places it works flawlessly, although the HUD is always distorted as well as the escape menu, if you're not playing on a 16x9 aspect ratio. Another problem is dual system use in the game. It makes total sense for a console. You fire the left gun with the left trigger and the right gun with the right trigger. For normal fighting, the right trigger fires the gun, while the left trigger normally lets you use the iron sights. On the PC this works the other way. Left mouse button fires the gun, the right one aims it, and here is exactly the problem. The right mouse button fires the left gun, and the left mouse button fires the right gun. This makes it really confusing deciding what gun you're going to use. This could be fixed manually by allowing keyboard controls for normal one-gun fighting, as well as added dual fighting keys. However, as a developer for the game, this should be way easier to fix and also would be nice for the players. I also noticed something else. While everything sounds right in the game, the intro video as well as the in-game The Darkness 2 logo appearing after the van crashed into the building seems to have a really bad audio quality, as it creates white noise like the audio was too loud and the quality too low for it. I've used my normal headphones and two stereo speakers and both show the same problem. Also the recorded video has it. It is hard to describe and maybe you can just listen here. The last problem is not a big one, but can be annoying too. When you start the demo and you have an Xbox 360 controller connected like me, the in-game tutorial will still show the gamepad icons instead of the mouse and keyboard keys. This is not a huge problem, but can be annoying. The fix is to unplug the gamepad and after a while it seems to switch them. Also the controller settings won't save, so every time I want to play the game, my controller will rumble and then I have to change the option again. As I said, these two are not that big in comparison to the others, but still should be fixed. Jackie, you stay with me now. Oh shit, look at his leg. Benny, what do we do? You guys take point. I'm gonna pull Jackie out back. Jackie, listen to me. I'm gonna pull you out back, but you gotta take this. Get these guys off our ass. 
Well, that's it. This is all I found and what I would really like to see change in the full game. I do not know if Digital Extremes knows about this already or not. I just wanted to do this to get all of it out in a presentable way. As a PC gamer from the start until the end of video games, I am sick and tired of the way games are treated on the PC. And for a sequel of a game I always liked and never played, I don't want this to be another mediocre console port that maybe looks better but doesn't play better. Well, thanks for viewing. This was a bit of work to put together and I hope you liked it. If you're a developer from Digital Extremes and you're watching this, please consider all I've mentioned. This will only add to your game and gives a better experience for any PC player out there. Thanks for viewing again and goodbye.